I've been using Mirror Registry for OKD to host the container images for OKD locally within my own network. And that saves me pulling those images to, fit to each node from the internet every time I want to do a deployment or an upgrade, which saves me a lot of time. So I wanted to make a quick video about how to deploy Mirror Registry and utilize it in your environment. Now to keep the video quick, I'm just going to deploy Mirror Registry in this video. I know my last few have been like an hour long. So we'll keep this one nice and quick and just go over the deployment of Mirror Registry. So if we look at the documentation for Mirror Registry, what it is is a lightweight deployment of Red Hat Quay Container Registry. So if you're familiar with Quay and you've used it upstream, this is just a local instance of it. It comes with a web UI, you can log in, see all the container images, etc, etc. This is super simple to install. We'll just have a quick look at the prerequisites. So we need, I'm not sure what Fedora 8 is, Maybe they're referring to CoreOS, but I'm just going to do this on Fedora 36. We'll do it on this system that we're running on right now. We need a fully qualified domain name for the Quay service, and it must be able to resolve through a DNS server. So for that, we're going to leverage Free IPA, which, as we've covered in previous videos, is my DNS server, and it also provides the LDAP service for OpenShift. So when I log in, I can log in using LDAP, which is provided through Free IPA. We need passwordless sudo access on the target host, key-based SSH authentication, at least two vCPUs, and 8 gig of RAM. Now the storage requirements are going to change quite dramatically depending on what you want to host here. So if you just want to host the release images, you're looking at 12 gigabytes or 358 gigabytes for the release images and the operator images. So if you wanted to go and have multiple streams of OKD, then your storage requirements are going to vary again on top of that. So in this environment, I'm just going to sync in um, one release, so I don't need too much space for this in this environment. So there's a bit of a blurb here about what it is, how to use it. So if we just scroll down, we can see there's a link here to the OpenShift console downloads page. So if we click on that, which I should actually open in a new tab, so we'll open in a new tab. We can see we have the mirror registry for Red Hat OpenShift, so we just go ahead and download that one. Now, while that's downloading, let's go and set up DNS. So this is my free IPA server, so when you log in, it'll look like this. So we've got a network services, DNS, and then we select the okd4.dne-shift.net domain. We're just going to add a new entry here. We'll just call this one registry test. And the IP address will be the system that I'm running on. So we'll add that one in there now. So now that should be resolvable from my DNS server. So if we do dig short registry dot registry dash test dot okd4 dne dash shift dot net. And that server in particular was this one. So there we go, we can see that that does indeed resolve through DNS now, so that's great, that's what we need. So we still have a few minutes left on that download, so let's go to here. Now let's go to unit slow storage, and we'll make a directory here called registry. So this is the directory we're going to use for this deployment. Now this is on a hard drive that I have mounted there, so this one here. So you can see we've got two terabytes of storage available here, which is more than enough for what we want to do. So our download I can see is still going there. We'll just give that a couple more minutes and then we will get stuck into it. Actually, the other thing we need to do is add sudo less ssh. So if I do sudo ls here, sudo ls, we can see that I'm able to do that without a password. So let's just go into etsy sudoers.d So in here we can see that we have a user, so the user I'm using in this environment is Shep. So what we do in there is we add the username, followed by all equal to root, so all commands that we run will be equal to the root user, and no password for all. So any command that requires root privileges will require no password. So that's all we need, and then we would, if you've just added that, you would just do sudo into that user, sudo su 
So just change into that user. And now you should be able to run commands without um, typing in the password. So, how's our download going? Still downloading. And this is why we have to have Mirror Registry, because the internet is just not too great here. Okay, so let's finish downloading now. So let's go to our terminal. We're going to move that to here. Downloads Mirror Registry. We'll move that to here. And we'll just extract that. So, while that's extracting, let's go back to our documentation and see what we need to do next. So, download the, the tar.gz file, blah, blah, blah. To install Mirror Registry for Red Hat OpenShift on your local host with the current user account using Mirror Registry, here's the command. Cool, that's really easy. So, let's copy this. So that's as simple as it is, we just run that command, we set the Quay host name to the DNS name that we just configured, registry test okd4 bne shift.net, and then we set the Quay root to the storage directory that we created, which is the registry one. So then once we've done that, we just hit enter, and we just let that run. That's going to go ahead and configure everything we need, generate all the SSL certificates, bring up Quay, and then we will be able to log into the web UI. So we'll come back when it's finished and see how it goes. Okay, so that's finished there now, and we can see we've been given some credentials to log in with. So if we copy this link, go to our web browser, cool, we can see we have Quay up and running. It has been deployed, so let's try and log in now with these credentials. So it's given us an init user, and it's generated this random password. There we go, we've logged in. Now obviously we have no containers here, we haven't done anything to sync them in, but that's that's all there is to it. It's really, really simple to get Mirror Registry up and running. And then you can use that for any container images you want. It doesn't just have to be OpenShift. You could push your triple O containers to it, or you could push some container that you've made yourself to this registry and self-host it at home. So it's a really cool way to get a container registry up and running really quickly. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at syncing in all of the um, container images for OKD 4.10.